Welcome to WTJR and thank you for tuning in to Transforming Times with Christ. Uh, my name is Anthony Cunningham. It's an honor to uh, be with you tonight uh, sharing the Word of God. And, and I believe as we open our hearts and, and set ourselves in a place of, of receiving the Word of God, that, that right there God Almighty can come in and do what it is that He wants to do in, in your life and in my life uh, as we surrender ourselves to the Word and surrender ourselves to His Spirit that comes and, and makes this Word alive inside of us. What an amazing thing it is that God wants to do. And, and for that true, total deliverance that, that comes through Christ alone, uh, walking with Him and, and just receiving what it is He, he did through the cross, uh, through the resurrection, and then how He you know, ascended to God and sent His Holy Spirit uh, what a beautiful thing He did for us. You know, the scriptures say that God has given us everything pertaining to life and to godliness. If we'll only receive, if we'll only put our faith in Him um, and trust Him to, to supply what it is that we need to walk out this walk with Christ Jesus as Lord and as Savior of our lives. And in such a battle that we see today, um, that I see personally in, in many people's lives, um, in the ministry um, that, that God has given me um, to walk in and to do in this time uh, at, for Victorious Living, um, you know, I get to, get to uh, work with people that have great struggles in their life, addictions and, and places of bondage. And, and I see many come to God and because of a, a certain mountain that's in their life and a certain bondage that comes in the form of, of maybe drugs or alcohol or um, whatever it may be. It's all over. We see it in the world today and, and how God will set them free from that. But, but only if they will pursue this relationship with Him, pursue what it is that, that He has set before their life, that they'll stay and that, that victory will be just a part of, of their testimony of the past. You know, there's such a battle for the believer today. The, the world is pulling at the believer's heart. The, the, the ruler of this world's system is pulling at the, the Christian's heart. And, and it's so easy to surrender over to the convenient Christian lifestyle than it is to step out in that place of faith and say yes to God and what it is that He's called us to. Because in that place of saying yes to Him, it requires a faith to put all our trust in Him. It requires a stepping out in areas that, that we don't know for sure, where, where there is no physical security. But, but once we come to know God and we come to know Him more and more through His Word and, and throughout all history, how He's provided... You know, David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. And once we, that becomes a testimony of who He is in our own life, the stepping out and trusting Him in those known areas, we begin to just do it. No matter what feelings or emotions say, we, we begin to just step out and say, Lord, You've called me and I trust You, so I'm going to step out here and I'm going to do this because I know that, that, that the righteous are not forsaken in Your eyes. And, and I want to talk about that pull. Um, as we look, um, just, just in a portion of, of James chapter 4 and, and verse 4, um, how James says, you know, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? And whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an en enemy of God. You know, in this, the world uh, that, that James is talking about, it's referring to the world system to the way that the world operates, to its priorities and its philosophies of life. It's to the world's mindset and the world's values. You know, all these things, the world's priorities. Yeah, what, what, is the, what are priorities in the world? Well, to make this flesh happy, the, to pursue happiness, no matter if it uh, causes hurting somebody else or, or, or taken from somebody else so that they might be in lack. Um, Whatever it is that will make this flesh happy, um, and, and that's just a portion of, of the world system. But, but the world is ultimately calling us to neglect our relationship with God. You know, the world can, can even say, you know, just show up at the church service. Just, just show up at the thing. And, and you know, I went to church, and, and I feel good because I went to church. But 
But God is calling us into relationship with Him, with His Holy Spirit, with His Word of God that, that ultimately comes in and transforms us as we set our mind to it, come into agreement with it. In Romans 12, 2, there's a strategy that is given to us. It, it, Romans 12, 2, it provides a strategy to combat the pull of the world through the renewing or the reprogramming of our minds. It says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind, so that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That place where, where God is providing for us. Let's just be real about this. In Philippians 2.5, uh, it says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. And, and in Titus chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, it says, Not by works of righteousness, not by just showing up at these places, and not by just putting on this appearance of godliness, or, or this appearance of, of, of just religion, of, of showing in, uh, up, and, and by my works. Um, that's how I see myself approved to God. He says, Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to His mercy, He saved us. Through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior. Have you received the Holy Spirit? Has the Holy Spirit come in and regenerated you? Has it come in and, 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 and made your desires inside of you change? Has the Holy Spirit come in and, 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 and uh, gave witness to your spirit that you are a child of God? Is the Holy Spirit speaking to you that you're a child of God? That's a question that we should ask ourselves today. Is the Holy Spirit alive in me, leading and guiding my life? The Holy Spirit's power can transform our minds and redirect us towards the will of God. If I find myself just being a, a church goer and, and finding my, my self-righteousness in, in that, and, or maybe just because I do some good things that, that I think I'm saved because of them, there's so much that God wants to do by sharing what it is that, that He has purposely planned for your life individually through this time of prayer, through the time of spending the Word, you see, God is, is, is he, He's pleading to all of us. And he, He's saying, you know, come to me uh, personally. Come to me and spend time with me. Come to me and ask me, what is it that you have called for me to do in my life? And, and if we will do that, and if we will humbly come to Him and ask Him, He is going to share with us what it is He's called us to do. You know, it's amazing when we'll take the time and we'll just shut everything off around us <clears throat> and we'll just begin to cry out for, to Him from our heart. When we'll just um, not get out the prayer list, the, the prayer people. And when we'll come to Him and say, Lord, how is it that You want me to pray to You? Will You show me, Lord? Show me, Lord, how to pray. Show me what it is that You want me to pray for. Show me what it is that You want me to do. It's amazing how when we come to this place of learning to listen to His Holy Spirit come and minister inside of us, how He'll begin to speak to us individually, how He'll begin to put people on your heart in that moment. And, and, and then He'll say, pray in this way for them. Or, or how when all of a sudden somebody comes to our mind and we understand that God is bringing them to our minds so that we might intercede for them, God will begin to uh, use us throughout our whole day, no matter what we're doing. If we're working, if we're going to the store, if we're, if we're just uh, about our day, doing our business, things that uh, He'll begin to show to us and, and put on our mind, and, and we'll respond as, Yeah, God, I'm going to pray for them. Show me how it is that you want me to pray for them. Or show me how it is I might fulfill a need in their life. Show me what it is you want me to do with what you've put inside of me. And how He will begin to do that. And this is what personal relationship with the Holy Spirit looks like, a portion of it. There's, there's so much more to having a relationship. But this is a portion of, 
of having a relationship with the Holy Spirit, having a relationship with Jesus, is that He wants to use our lives to intercede and to fulfill the need of others that are around us. And, and when we come to that place of, of obeying and, and walking in what it is He's called us to, then, then, then He'll see, I can trust you with this, this, this portion that I've given to you. And you have been faithful with this portion that I've given to you. Therefore, I'm going to give you more, I'm, I'm more to, to trust you with. And, and, it, and it's amazing what He wants to do with our lives. You know, being transformed and having the mind of Christ, it, it, it only comes through the renewing, the regenerating of the Holy Spirit and, and the, allowing this Word to come and regenerate our way of thinking. That's why the Scriptures tell us that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. That, that we must study this to show ourselves approved. That, that it is this Word that, that comes and, and we, we simply make that agreement inside of us. We make that decision to say, yes, God, I'm going to agree with Your Word. There's, there, there may be things that come that try to argue the Word of God, but I'm going to recognize that, 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 that this flesh, this worldly way in me, is not going to uh, mix with Your Word. So, Lord, I'm going to surrender to your word. That's what they said that in, in uh, James uh, chapter 4, verse 4. That's what he said. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? That whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. You see, there's no mixing of this. There's no mixing of, of, of taking this word and adjusting it to make this flesh happy. We, we, as followers of Christ, I've got to come to a place where it's settled inside me that this Word is the truth. And I'm simply going to allow this Word to change my way of thinking. I'm going to believe the Word of God. I'm going to allow it to come in and change my way of thinking. If a feeling tells me one, sends me one direction and the Word sends me the other direction, I'm going to choose to go the direction that the Word is going to send me. And that's where God is. That's where God wants to make the change and do the miraculous work that not only is done in my life, that He can do in your life, that He's already done in your life. But there's, there's a place He's calling us to. And, it, and it's simply by us responding and saying yes to Him. I will 